My Salvia Trip Report, posted to the Salvia subreddit by Nondil5 two days ago. This happened about a decade ago, but the trip was so impactful that I'll never forget it. I'll go to my death contemplating it all. I haven't shared this trip online before, so here we go. The trip is atypical because it's a positive one whereas most salvia trip reports tend to be quite dramatically negative. This trip profoundly increased my overall positivity and outlook on life since that day, and it's also the reason why until very recently I haven't done any psychedelics at all. I felt I've had enough for a lifetime after this. This was salvia 60x or 80x. I can't remember which, but it was powerful stuff. I smoked it a few times prior, about 10 times altogether but I always took very gentle hits, and what seemed to happen was that reality shifted into something else for a very brief moment, and then back again. For example, one time I smoked it around a table with some friends, and suddenly, the entire scene transformed into something where we were all on some kind of beach near the ocean. I looked to the right at one of my friends, and he was wearing one of those old marine captain hats, and he kind of winked at me like a cartoon character. Then reality would morph back to normal, as quickly as it transformed. I had a couple of these kind of trips, with short but still potent changes in perception. The last time I smoked it though, was different. I was alone this time, and I had enough for two to three strong hits. I packed my pipe to the brim, and lit up my torch lighter, really dedicated that this time, I'll feel something stronger than just a little teaser in effect. So I somehow managed to take about three gigantic hits, and put the pipe down. What happened next is hard to convey into words, because words don't do it justice, and never will. A very powerful voice, which seemed to be coming from the back, and the power of which seemed to make the entire world vibrate with enormous force, basically said to me, Hi, I'm Salvia. I don't think it happened in spoken language, but I could understand everything being said with crystal clarity. It felt like a telepathic download of sorts. There was absolutely no ambiguity in what was being said, and even though the transmission was an alien experience to me, and I struggled to get to grips with it, I still understood everything with extreme lucidity. The voice said something like this. Well, you know, every single thing has a spirit. At the core of everything is a specific spirit whose natural expression is that very certain thing. This voice then went on to provide me with a very specific example. I know all this because after the trip, I wrote all of it down. It said, If you eat an orange, the taste that you feel in your mouth is the communication with the spirit of the orange. This was very specific, I thought. Then, the voice went on to say, Well, you just smoked me, and I'm the spirit of Salvia, so this is what communication with me is like. What happened after this is impossible to describe, and I only really have a very shaky mental picture of it, because my ego simply cannot even formulate, or begin to formulate any kind of description that would fit the experience, or uncover even the surface layers of just how unbelievably alien it all felt. What happened was I felt as if two enormous hands lifted me from my body, and I went up, up, up through the stratosphere, through the layers of the multiverse, through some kind of membrane, and some type of super-dimensional, non-Euclidean, hyperbolic weirdness of hard-to-describe proportions, until I basically landed in nothing, and there was nothing but love, and nothing there. Love and nothing was the content of this place, and there wasn't even a me to speak of. I didn't exist there. I just somehow was part of this love and this nothingness, and what's more, is that it lasted forever, as far as I can tell. I don't know how I ever got back to my body, because from what I could tell, this was forever. And this is just how things are, and always were. There's love. Infinite love of unconditional and deeply profound nature. And there's also absolutely nothing. And those are the only two things that actually exist. I know this sounds paradoxical, because how can nothing exist as a thing? But that's exactly how I felt. It was infinite nothingness, and infinite love in every direction. 
When I did get back to my body, it felt like I was slowly descending back into my body. And I remember I had some kind of an energetic parachute that attached to my front rather than my back and was made of what I can describe as two enormous rings on each side of me that extended through another reality back into our own. If you've ever played MDK games, it was kind of like that parachute, except it was glowing red and it was on the front of me and there were only two circles instead of four. I remember specifically looking at how the two rings at the far ends poked through some kind of membrane that separated this world and the one I just came from. This experience radically transformed my life. It permanently erased my depression and inspired me to be extremely creative. I've never taken salvia since because I'm afraid it might modulate my life in a different way or that I might experience the horrors that I keep reading about with salvia. I'm not sure it's worth the risk. So there you have it. That's my trip report. Regardless or not if you believe in the spirit world and the spirits or everything described here, you have to at least agree that the orange analogy is spot on. I've never thought before that the spirit of the orange might express itself to you through the experience of eating it. Next time you taste an orange, remember, you're communicating with its spirit. Whoa, well, that was probably one of, if not the maddest salvia reports I've ever read. Um, obviously, there's crazier ones where you go to sort of like horror landscapes. Um, the 700x trip report that I posted quite a while ago, the trip to Horrorland, that was probably the maddest salvia report of all time. But in terms of just how deep this salvia experience went to sort of like the heart of source, I'd say this is definitely the uh, craziest, most out there salvia report I've ever read even though it, it was sort of like, it only, the actual report only took me six minutes to read, but it really did leave an impact on me reading this one. It was very profound and it shows that, yeah, Salvia is probably w one of, if not the wackiest um, uh, psychoactive substances out there. Obviously, it's uh, dissociative and not, a, say, a traditional psychedelic. But it has a lot of the psychedelic um, effects and properties that um, you, you can come to know from, say, like 5-MeO-DMT, this experience of infinite nothingness and infinite love, and both of them sort of paradoxically f allowing each other to exist, in a sense. Um, because I think yeah, what I'm starting to realise now, and I also covered it in there, I think it was in the last uh, video I did, the nature of reality is absolutely paradoxical. It's just the human mind that is functions via logic and rationality and likes to impose that on the universe and say oh it's just it's sort of these it's just random equations that come together and then now i am having this experience of atoms all bubbling together allowing consciousness to exist and i don't know i just feel so reductionist in comparison to sort of the higher states of consciousness that you can experience obviously people just say oh it's just all generated by the brain blah 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 blah. but i don't know my perspective is that the brain is just a uh, a catalyst or a, a receiver for consciousness it's just a one for one of infinite forms consciousness can take on when you have these experiences of literal infinity like y you need to just take a step back i feel this is what i'm saying about sort of like the rationally minded people Obviously, it is good to rationally observe and uh, examine psychedelics. But when you actually have an experience of literal infinity, literal infinity, I don't know how um, people can go back to sort of like their egoic sense of self and be like, yep, oh, that was all just generated by the brain, that literal feeling of infinity. And like, I use the word literal over and over again because that is what it is, it is infinity. Which means that basically, your human ego, your the human consciousness of the human, uh, the state of human consciousness is so low down on the possible states of consciousness that infinity can experience. So of course, the lens through which we perceive life and reality is going to be a <laughs> rational, a rational, logically minded one. But the actual nature of the universe isn't like that. It doesn't need to be rational or logical or scientific, it, it's, it can be anything, it's some completely paradoxical, you can just create anything out of itself, out of nothingness, because it literally has no ground, so that means it has no limits on itself, it can do whatever the fuck it wants, it doesn't have to be bound by logic or, 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 in, or, or finity, because it literally is infinite, and that's how all these things are possible, because it's complete, these chemicals in your brain, obviously chemicals in your brain are a state of consciousness, the normal egoic 
state of consciousness that humans experience is just a mashup of chemicals. And when you introduce another chemical makeup into your brain to link it all together, it allows your consciousness to be amplified. It doesn't mean that it's the brain itself producing it. The brain is just a receiver for Con for infinite consciousness to experience itself in a finite human form. So when you twist with that chemical makeup by adding salvia, um, or what's called salvin RNA, or 5-MeO-DMT, and that <clears throat> rewires the chemistry in your brain, that will allow you to go beyond the human experience, go beyond the brain, because you'll have these... Ex when you see this guy, when he's gone through this infinite love, infinite nothingness experience, there is no him, there is no brain. The brain literally doesn't exist, it's just a concept, it's just an idea. It's completely gone. And then when your state of consciousness whittles away, goes back down and solidifies, the ego comes back. The experience of having a brain also comes back, the experience of physicality comes back. And yeah, it's... <laughs> It is all just completely, infinitely relative. Um, that's why I just don't, I don't subscribe to the materialist explanation for reality at all. Um, but if you do, that's completely fine because everyone's just on their own journey, aren't they? Like, I could be completely wrong. This is just my perspective, and it's good to have all these infinite, literally infinite perspectives on, on reality. Because if the, if everybody was just like, yes, we can all agree that uh, um, everything is groundless and um, infinite and uh, reality is just a dream then where would the fun be in that the whole fun is in the fact that everyone has a different perspective and that we're all struggling to understand the truth and if the truth was easy to understand then the game would be boring wouldn't it it's like the best sort of video games are like dark souls and the hard ones and the ones that test your skills your patience and um your motivation your discipline other than fucking like Candy Crush or like some shitty Call of Duty game where like your just hand is held through like the campaign and you don't even have to do anything, you're just on rails. The best games are the ones where you have to dedicate your time and effort and patience and understand the systems and mechanics in order to overcome challenges and um, sort of actualize your experience within the uh, domain of what you're uh, engaging in. So yeah, you can become a Dark Souls master if you understand the whole mechanics. And you become a master of life if you understand the, all of your mechanic, all the mechanics of life, reality. You jailbreak your mind, you sort of um, have spiritual, mystical experiences, just general different experiences um, on the mundane level, just like moving house, moving to a different country shaking up life and seeing more of reality this is what really grows you and like this guy said it, this was such a profoundly different experience to the normal waking state of human consciousness it it's gone like he says it's permanently erased my depression and inspired me to be extremely creative that's fucking buzzing isn't it really so yeah uh, this just shows that yeah salvia when used this guy used it i think really consciously and um had a great set and setting so it really rewarded him in that sense but Salvia, um, in comparison, obviously you can have a, uh, the psychedelics will kick your ass if you misuse them, but salvia will really kick your ass uh, if you misuse it, as we've seen in many of the sort of the horrific salvia reports, where stuff can go seriously awry and uh, can actually traumatize you without any sort of uh, positive uh, after effects, unlike say in other psychedelic reports where people sort of have these like nightmarish experiences, but sort of come out the other end appreciating life more, even if it scares them off psychedelics for life, at least it really helped them grow and develop in some area. But when Savi gets bad, it gets real bad. Uh, quite similar to say how bad delirium and deterra can get, where it's like, not much good can really come of uh, these just crazy, traumatic, um, terrifying experiences. So yeah, just remember to stay safe and um, take heed that there's way more to reality than just the human state of consciousness and psychedelics and dissociatives and psychoactive substances um, are shortcuts to experiencing this. And yep, it can get intense, but with the right mindset... Um, and the willpower and the determination and the, the knowing that infinite love is the source of all reality, then you can actually tap into this beautiful aspect of the universe. Well, not even aspect, the core of the universe, even if you will, and what God is, and what you are, what we all are. Or maybe I'm just trying to shit me. <laughs> Who knows? But I'm sure we'll all find out one day. So, yep. Yeah. See you later, guys. Peace out.